women are only 20% of professors in Europe, but they are 60% of university graduates with excellent qualifications. This means that there's an issue of representation of women in research, and particularly in high positions. And this research shows us that has structural uh, explanations and structural causes, mainly biases and stereotypes, which are embedded in society. Uh, research and innovation needs to be, first of all, inclusive. So it has to include voices in both the goals and the trajectories of the innovation process. Uh, and it needs to recognise diversity. It needs to recognise that 50% of the world's population are women, for example. So it has to be gender equal. Well, gender equality is essential for any person to realise the full potential. Uh, and in order to create great research, great science engagement, engaging science centre exhibits, it is necessary to realise the full potential of men and women, girls and boys. Gender has to be a part of uh, the problems that are posed in research and uh, the very methods that are used uh, in research. And there you get uh, examples you know, of uh, gender innovations. It's a very popular site uh, that is done by uh, Londa Schiebinger and Ine Klinger in a clinic at Stanford where we get a lot of examples how the very content of research changes if you incorporate actively uh, a perspective, a gender perspective. Uh, this is of course uh, the precondition that later on the results of the research can be applied uh, to the whole population, men and women equally. We need to see when those differences exist in realities, in perceptions, in needs and integrate them into the research process on a normal, normal and consistent basis, just as any other uh, aspect that we integrate into our research activities. Gender equality is about excellence. Um, and I would say a key message to integrate gender perspectives into research and innovation is to be responsive to people's needs um, and to then make adaptive change. Um, we need the potential of men and women uh, to maintain our ability to innovate in Europe.